Hello everyone. Right. This is a serious video. More serious than Wednesday's video in some respects. Right. On Wednesday, which for me was like a couple of minutes ago, I covered the whole phase bank situation that's happened in the Cleveland bar where there was a whole brawl and Alyssa was hit, FaZe was hit and all that. As I said in that video, I would definitely check out Phil's video on the situation because he covers it in much more detail than I can. Um, his video was 20 minutes long and he covered pretty much everything you could possibly think of and he even shows the videos and he he approaches it as, as a normal newscaster would which is the way Phil works and then he gives you his opinion afterwards. Now this video is kind of in response to his Friday video and it's a video that I've been meaning to make for a while because it isn't and it's about boundaries um, you have people that don't follow normal boundaries in our life and in our society and the reason why people get pissed off is that about the fact that people don't think about boundaries and it's because people go too far now on friday phil did a live stream where he talked about the backlash that he got from covering the first video some people said well i don't know why you're covering this it's more drama than news which is true but it does have an impact on our entire the youtube community as a whole because people like this are seen to be youtubers and they're kind of giving the rest of us a bad name and he got kicked back in that sense he got kicked back saying because he wasn't on face on face bank side he wasn't standing up for face banks and a lot of people were pissed at him and a lot of people threatened his life the life of his wife of his kids and the rest of his family they threatened to go to his house and kill his family like i say even small youtubers aren't immune i've had death threats boogie to um boogie's had death threats um lots of youtubers get death threats because of something that somebody because they've said something that somebody doesn't agree with and to me people need to start learning boundaries because you don't act like that you don't respond like that to things like like this instance you don't respond to hate to well you don't respond to criticism of your favorite youtuber by threatening another youtuber's life and his family's life that is one element where boundaries social boundaries are being broken apart a lot of people do think that youtube is more approachable than normal celebrities which is true youtubers are a lot more approachable they're a lot more human they're a lot more real they're a lot more tangible however that doesn't give you the right to threaten the lives and the safety in the family. The other form of boundaries, uh, this relates back to a Julian video that he's done, which I will link to, and where somebody actually pulled up outside Julian and Jenna's house, and the, the mother of the there was a mother and a child in the in the car, and the mother said, "Is this the street that Jen, um, Jenna Marbles lives on?" And Jenna and Julian's like, "Why?" And it's like, well, you know, you know, all these kids, they want to go to the houses and, you know, parents are taken and he's like, yeah, you've done the exact same. Please leave her out so I'll call the police. And just because a YouTuber is more approachable and a YouTuber is more relatable and all that doesn't give you the right to go to the house, doesn't give you the right to go to the kids schools doesn't give you the right to go to their work or or any of that it 
makes zero sense that these people think that they can get away with everything is and I know Jake Paul doesn't help matters because Jake Paul doesn't have any sense of boundaries anyway but the fact that he's probably one of the worst for allowing this and then he gets pissed at people when people get pissed at him because they've shown him there are, uh, the, he's shown another YouTuber's address or anything like that. A lot of people, especially after what happened with Christine and Grimmick, a lot of YouTubers do worry about security. It's one of the reasons why security places like VidCon and Playlist are so high. And uh, it's one of the reasons why YouTubers try their best to hide their address. You all look, the only thing that you guys know about me is that I live in York. That's it. You've never seen the outside of my house, which wouldn't help anyway. But you don't know exactly where in New York I live because I don't tell you. And I'm going to keep it that way. And part of it is due to the fact that I have had death threats in the past. And the fact that some people think that it is socially okay to threaten somebody's life and that it is socially okay to go to somebody's house where you've never met them before or go to somebody's uh, work uh, or anything like that is mind-numbing to me. If somebody disagrees with the YouTuber that you support, by all means leave a comment but don't say I'm going to come to your house and rape you and kill you or I'm going to find your family and I'm going to kill them. You don't do that, that's, that's just petty and that just proves you don't have an argument. And the fact that Phil's family was threatened when all Phil was doing was covering a story that everybody want, a lot of people wanted him to cover. And because he didn't support his face, he didn't support his face, just because he didn't support Faze Banks in it doesn't give anybody and everybody the right to go off on it. I'm sorry, but no. It's just like, if you don't agree with... Buggy's opinion on something doesn't give you the right to go after him. Just because you don't agree with Rice Gum's opinion on something doesn't mean you can go after him. The same with Onision, the same with John, even the same with Joy. And I have had situations in the past with um, people I know through the situations I've been involved in because of Joy and jo John. Um, it's because of those situations I've been involved in with those two particular fan groups I have had threats and I've seen the way that some fans react just from you criticising their you, favourite YouTuber and I think it's petty as fuck and threatening somebody's life just proves that you have no argument that you don't know what you're on about and to me it makes little to no sense that if you don't have an argument on a particular topic, you just threaten somebody's life when that is absolutely, uncategorically not right. And it's illegal. And if I wanted to, the threats I've received, I could turn them to police. But I don't want to because the people who left the comments don't have a clue where I live. So, there you go. Anyway. So, this video is basically to say, don't threaten people's lives. Don't show up for YouTubers' houses uninvited. Um, don't miss social cues. And don't believe everything that anybody tells you. Research it. It's like the people who watch me, I say this in a lot of videos, if you don't, if you believe what I'm saying, that's great. But I wouldn't be offended if you then went and researched it. Because I'm all about giving you a bit of information, then you go out and find the rest. And that's just the way I work. It's the way I've always worked. So, I'm recording this Monday. So you will see this Friday. But I'm going to probably live stream tonight, which is Monday night. And I'm going to live stream Thursday night as well. Um, after the hubby's gone to work and mum has gone to bed. So... My mum needs coming on Thursday, but unfortunately you won't see her because she's very, very camera shy. 
I'll see if I can get her on camera. I can't promise anything though. But she's just basically an older version of me. So I look very much like my mum. So there you go. Anyway, stay safe, be good, have fun, be careful, and I'll see you later.